If we study Prabhupada's teachings, we can see that he wanted us to go back to Godhead. He asked us to go back to Godhead in this lifetime. That was his desire, and therefore that should be our desire. Now, there's many devotees who think it's impossible in one lifetime to go back to Godhead, and that is commonly understood in Gaudiya Vaishnavism. But Srila Prabhupada many times said, in one lifetime you can go back to Godhead, and that's interesting. People doubt it because this has never been heard before. But Prabhupada offered that promise to us, and because he offered us that promise, he encouraged us that finish your business in this life. I have come to take you back home, back to Godhead. So finish your business in this lifetime. Get rid of it. It's all over. Just do it. And that means that he was confident we could do it. And how are we going to do it? Well, we can't do it by nam aparad. We can't do it by casual chanting. We can't do it by casual sadhana. We can't do it by casual, casual service. But if we take to the process correctly, efficiently, as we would take to something material that we want to succeed in, we take it seriously, we dedicate ourselves to it and so forth, then Prabhupada's saying, in one lifetime it's possible. So if in one light, lifetime it's possible, it seems to me that, intelli that intelligently thinking, intelligently speaking, we should do whatever we can because we can do it in this lifetime. We don't have to bother to come back again. If we don't have to bother to come back again, why should we want to come back? It doesn't make any sense. So, but maybe a higher principle is that it's Prabhupada's desire. This is what he wants for us. And so, to be a follower of Prabhupada means that we should make his desire our desire. So his desire is that we go back to God and therefore don't feel guilty or don't feel it's wrong to desire to go back to Godhead because that's what Prabhupada wants. And of course, we have to become pure to do that, but he wants us to become pure. He wants... There's nothing that's going to make Prabhupada happier than connecting us with Krishna. That's his mission. And so we can make Prabhupada happy by meeting Krishna at the end of this life. That's what he wants. That's what he's giving us. And that's what we should be doing.